40 year old father of three, 11 year old boy, nine year old girl, six year old boy. Yep. And so the battle that you described in terms of trying to pick out the movie to watch <laughs> hit me right in the field. <laughs> right? You, you know it. You know, where I'm, you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, e- even right down to the whole you know, image of winding my way through Blockbuster in high school, you've always got your bud who's staying the night with you or you're staying the night with him. And you're you're trying to figure out, and then there's there was always the rush to the new releases, and yeah. then there was that pile of return movies up front <laughs> that you could uh, yes you could flip through. And, yes. Yeah, but so so let me ask you, what is what what's your process? Are you I mean, are you just saying, okay, guys, it's it's six thirty, it's Saturday evening, you know, it's pandemic, we're not going anywhere, it's movie time. Yes. I mean, do you hit it there? Or do you have a do you have a warm up? I'm trying to compare notes here. Yeah, I hear you, Henry. <laughs> I gotta this tell you, great. I gotta this tell awesome. you, Henry. It's you gotta have a feel for the situation. You gotta read the room. You know what I mean. You gotta. It's it's just you know sometimes uh, any any play caller will tell you that sometimes you push the right button, other times you think you got a touchdown, but you don't. I mean, I wish I had a, uh, I wish I had a catch all for you, uh, but you just gotta read the room, and then eventually uh, my wife will just come top rope and just say, "This is what we're watching." So everybody, sit down. And let's make some popcorn. And if you don't want to watch the movie, you get no popcorn. It's the, so yeah. maybe try that one. Try that one. Yeah, try that we, one. We've, we've done different angles. We've we tried laying the groundwork here. I mean, I, I'll start off by right off the top. Of it, we're not watching anything with the name Trolls in the title. Mm-hmm. So oh. it's just it's just not going to happen. And actually, I heard an interview that you did a week or two ago. Um, and I forget the actor's name. Please forgive me. But he had been in, in Dead Poet Society. Josh Charles. Um, yeah, that's right. And so there's, you know, Dead Poets is, is uh, you know, allegedly modeled after a school here in Nashville and wanted to, you know, kind of prime my son to, to watch the movie. So we start laying the groundwork for Saturday around Tuesday or Wednesday. That's what you got to do. You got to uh, you got to set the stage here. Here's one. Uh, I've got about a minute to go, but try Hidden Figures. Try that one. We did that with okay. our kids because uh, one of our kids uh, gets afraid of anything like whenever you know, any movie gets out of control or, uh, you know, some character is doing something they're not supposed to be doing and they get busted, but it all's fine in the end. We're like, everything's going to be fine. Like, I've got one kid that can't have anything out of disorder. Hidden Figures is phenomenal, and it's also yeah. good for the parents. So try that one out. Okay, will do. Appreciate the advice. Appreciate what you guys do. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks right so back much. at you. Be good, brother. I love it. So I'm this describing. is what I have coming my way, right? Oh, like negotiations. But got, no, but three got days one, out. You've got one. You've got one child. Right. The multiple kids and the different genders. It's just a bad oh, mix. Man. Good thing Rockman's got going. He could just go which America's game we want to watch over the Patriots. He's thank, good. Thank nah, you, he's, Mike. Well, he's got six of them. Thank he's you. He's good. But Kyle Brand, Hour 3, Chris Brockman's news update. Update on the Bills situation in a second. All right. What's America's game? So, okay. yeah, you do have, you do have, but you've got one kid. Just one. I think what Henry was pointing out, I think that was Henry uh, yeah. in Tennessee. He, he's got a boy. He's got, uh, he's got three kids, mixed genders, a boy and a girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like my daughter would be, and, and trolls. Like she would watch anything with trolls in two seconds flat. And my kids would watch it. My boys will watch it the first time, but not the second yeah, you get through 10th. You know, like not the second through 10th. You get one run. So there's that. Can I be there when they watch Jaws for the first time? You know what, Mike? Because I'll be, I'll be probably at two thousand by that point. And they'll look at you. But the problem is that it, we got to get them to the point where Brockman has. I mean, Brockman's from a different generation than my children, but he still has the same thing. It's too old. Too some, old. Some like stuff, Mike, no, 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 all stuff. Chris. Not all stuff. You said flatly. Not all stuff. On this program. Not all stuff. That. Like Citizen Kane, you're like tapped out. Like I, you can't consider Citizen Kane one of the greatest movies of yeah, all time because it's interest. old. It's, old. Yeah, it's go. just like, come on, can't but go it, by. It just doesn't hold up. Manchurian not Candidate, bad it's you, old. Manchurian Candidate, you stopped in the middle and you still haven't finished it. And oh. I told you it's one of the greatest oh, movies of moved. all time. There was a lot going and on. The <laughs> I understand that, but you, you would, you are not into it all. In because Sinatra, well, I like and that Frank Angela is Lansbury, it. and it's old and it's black and white. Like you have that mentality that my kids are like. A bit. Honestly, it they will look at it. Um, again, they're from a different generation, so you know we're we're on a streamer right now for crying out loud. So 
everyone understands that the way that cons people consume things is totally different. So everything you see on a streamer has a trailer. They've got to watch the trailer. Then they've got to discuss the trailer. Then we've got to see if the trailers ruin the movie or not. Like the trailer for, <laughs> for honestly, the trailer for Free Willy showed the whole damn thing. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. So then, that, that, that yeah. almost was the end of Free Four Willy away. on the spot. Yeah. Because they yeah. saw that the the, the, the whale the, jumps. The whale jumps. Exactly. With a kid like this. It's like, and, we're, and Susie and I I'm look done. at each other like, damn it. Yeah. We thought we had <laughs> exactly. two hours lined up here. Useless. <laughs> and then I have to tell him, wait, this guy, Michael Madsen, you see in the movie, wait till I show you <laughs> something totally different. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.